Hey you guys, welcome back to Kim's Mods. Um, you don't see a blaster in front of you because this is not a blaster. This is a uh, package I got from Palm Top Supply, I believe. Um, and I've been waiting for this, I mean, his delivery time wasn't bad at all. So I'm not saying I've been waiting for this package to arrive, but um, basically for anybody uh, to 3D print something for uh, the, the um, Adventure Force Conquest Pro. And in this uh, package here, uh, Palm Top made all these pieces. He made uh, a foregrip, uh, so it's gonna act like a shotgun. It's gonna have um, a different muzzle on it. Um, it's gonna have uh, easy mag releases, and I believe some railing um, that we can put on it. So let's go ahead and open this up. Pretty excited to see how this works. Let's see back here. You must have heard me when I was talking about the Conquest Pro in my uh, review video. Because <laughs> I wasn't even searching for uh, Conquest Pro when I found it. I was actually looking for the, um, you know, stuff for like the Nexus Pro. Or even the Dart Zone uh, Max Striker. Um, they don't really have anything from the Max Striker yet. Um, all they have is basically, you know, the spring adjusters or whatever. You know, which is always the first thing to come, but... Hopefully some body modifications or muzzles or even a uh, different kind of barrel sport. So we'll see. So here we go. Says what we got in it. Hey, we got a sticker. That's pretty cool. I like that. Very colorful, very old school nerf. So we got the pump grip, muzzle cover, magazine releases, and side barrel. All right. Go ahead and see what we got. Got two. Let me toss that. Got two little packets here. I believe this is all 3D printed. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so you got the two mag releases, the extended ones, and then you got the barrel right here. That's pretty sick. All right, let's open up this one. Ooh, got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Ooh, that's nice. There's a pump grip. I love that. All right, cool. That's that stuff. Here's your side rails and some hardware. All right, let's see here. Clean that up a little bit. There's no instructions in here, are there? No, there is. Let's see. So this is basically, this whole thing is called a Conquest uh, Pro Mission Kit by Palm Top Supplies. So let's see. The additional hardware, four foot screws or spare short nerf. Spare, what? Spare short nerf shell screws. Oh, okay, that's fine. I have those. Uh, um, whenever a blaster doesn't work when I'm modding it, I usually trash it, but before I trash it, I take out the screws and save them, because you never know when you're gonna need some. So I always have extra screws on hand, it will help. Especially like, if you're you know dismembering uh, one and then you drop a screw and you can't find it, you got an extra. All right, tools, drill. I need a drill. Well, I got a drill. I didn't know I would need it. Uh, 330 drill bit for mag release extensions. Oh, okay. Let's see what size we got here. Yeah. I know this one's way too big. <laughs> yeah. 
Now, sadly, all my bits are not in a row. I need to get a new pack because these are old as balls. Um, I'll start with the smallest one, of course, and then go up, you know, trial and error. Okay, so that's the smallest one. That's the smallest, and we'll go higher as we need to. Um, that's for the sentiment and muscle car. Okay. Slide on. Okay, sounds pretty easy. Uh, let's get the Conquest Pro in here. Let's take out uh, the magazine first. We won't be needing that. Take off the little muzzle if I can. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to unscrew the grip first because whenever you're learning a uh, moth blaster that has a pump on it, you always take the grip off the, or the foregrip that is the priming mechanism to start with, regardless of whatever you're replacing or not replacing, or even if you're just open enough to go uh, screw with the internals, you know. I'm going to leave the screws in here because I have a tendency to lose screws if I leave them out, <laughs> uh, but what I'll do is I'll leave them in the top part here, just so they don't get lost. Just put that to the side. I'll probably be using these same screws for that stuff. <laughs> there we go, that came off pretty easy. Actually a lot easier than I thought it would. Okay. Let's see here. I believe the two longer screws are going to go into here. Let's get this hardware out right here. Okay. Let's see, how's this go? Like this. Alright. Let's go. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, you need to line it up with that bottom. Gotta find out where that actual bottom is. Let's see. Huh. There's uh, there's two slots on the side of the grip. There we go. Now I got it. Put this down for now. I'm not really sure. How does this go on? Okay, seems pretty explanatory or self-explanatory. So let's push that out one more time. So this needs to go on uh, the inner slide mark. Problem is it's hard to gauge because <laughs> I can't see through it. Let's try it again. Let's see if I got it. No. Her. Well. Yeah, it should be in the right place. Because, see, you can see it through there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but... See, you can see the hole in there. So it should line up. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, okay, then I just put the screws in. Okay.
Ooh, yeah, I feel it. Okay. All right, there's one. You don't want to tighten it too much because it is 3D printed stuff. So just feel until it tightens. You don't need to make it super tight because it's pretty, it's pretty, you know, in there. That side's pretty good. Let me see if that pushes in a little bit. So let's do a little bit more. I mean, if you've modded Nerf guns before and you, you're dealing with tight screws, you can usually tell where and how much you need to tighten it. Oh yeah, that feels a whole lot better than my handle. Sorry handle, but <laughs> I prefer a pump shot. <laughs> it's a lot easier. And this is really comfortable here. Um, okay, what's next? Muzzle um, cover. Place cover onto front uh, blaster. Slot the fish hires. Let's see. Slot the flash hider through. Hold the cover in place. Attach the cap via friction fit. Uh, okay, so you don't have to drill it, but it's saying for more security purposes, do it. Okay, so let's see here. It goes on. How's it go on? Let's see. Oh, I see. Okay, so you could drill the holes in here. I may do that, but for now, uh, I'm just gonna put it on. Let's see, is this going any certain way or? Doesn't look like it. Why is that so loose? Hmm. That's just, that's Oh, what? Wait, what? Wait a minute. Yeah. So you still have to use this, I guess. That's different. Oh, I see. They made the grooves fit in here. Oh, smart. Okay. We'll do it that way. Um, I'm going to take this off for a second. Put this guy back on because I didn't know I would need it. Because <laughs> usually when you mod something like that includes the front and everything. Okay, now I can't even put it on. So what the, what the heck? Let's see. Maybe you have to put this on first and then that through. Is that, is that working? <laughs> it's really hard to tell. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna put this through, I'm guessing. Let's see here. Gotta make that sure that that slot lines up. Let's see. It's really hard to tell. I wish I had x-ray vision for this. <laughs> there we go. All right. There we go. Cool. Very cool. Um, I may drill these holes. Yeah, I'll probably do that later though. But this friction fit stuff, I, I dig it. And it's totally fine on the inside, as you can tell. Everything lines up so the dark can still come out. So that'll work. Uh, let's see about these extended mag release sliding range. Right. Okay, let's see here. So these, I guess, you just put around these guys. Right? Maybe just good on this side. 
There we go. It says to drew, uh, drew. It says to um, drill some screws, and I find out where, found out where they were. It's right in the bottom here. You could, but they're pretty on there. And if you want extra security, maybe. <laughs> but so far, haven't needed to use a drill um, unless you never want to take them off. Um, I'm gonna. I may leave them like this without um, extra screws in there, just in case if I want to take it apart um, because. It's easier this way. Um, okay, and then let's do the side rails. So how do we do the side rails? Uh, let's see. Real grill rails is what they call them. Slide into place, ensure everything is aligned. Lowest position on the grill. Drill four screws. Super glue as well. No, I'm not gonna use super glue. I hate I hate using super glue on boxes and stuff. Especially on the outside. On the inside, it's fine because you don't see that stuff. So, you know. Um, okay, let's see how we do this. I see where they talk about the drill holes. Um, let's see here. Okay. Okay, so it's gonna go there. Uh, yeah, for this one I may need screws. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see which bit fits in there. Not that one, that one's too big. Maybe that one. So far, that one. I don't think these are gonna. No. No. And of course, I'm guessing this one. Okay, so we'll start with this one, then we'll switch to the bigger one. Um, let's see here. Let's put the drill bit in. that's on okay put that to the side for now uh, let's see here this is the one right no it's this one there we go mm. See that wobble? I gotta tighten this thing more. Still wobbles. <clears throat> Let me see. It's better. Let's see if we can do it. Actually, let's see. I don't have a white pen, do I? No. Because I could just mark it and then drill without the actual rail on there, which is probably a smart idea. Uh, not sure what I can use. Eh. Well, whoa, that's not good. That needs to tighten a lot more. <laughs> okay, this is actually too small to use. <laughs> like the um, the drill's not gripping it for some reason. So we'll do the next one up, which is the one that should fit and should work pretty well in this circumstance. That's a lot better. All right. Let's see. Here. 
There's one. There's two. Last one on this side. Why don't we clean this off? Oh. There we go, they're straight. All right, let's secure this one. I'm guessing with these screws. One, two, three. Screwdriver. So when you screw these in manually, you will need a little bit of pressure, not too much, because they're you know we just drill holes into it. Uh, but you pre-drill holes because if you try to go in straight with these, it won't work. <laughs> you'll just split the um, you'll split the plastic below and just ruin it. Always pre-drill a hole before you screw it. I mean, it's, it basically is the same logic as hanging pictures or posters on the wall there, or you know, framed pictures or posters. You always want to drill a, a hole that's smaller than the um, anchor, and then go up a little bit, you know, a little bit size and a little bit size until you're just below the anchor's uh, width, and then the anchor will basically do the rest. Oh, these are small screws, jeez. Gotta screw it even more. Um, I'm gonna use a screwdriver bit for this. Mm, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, they say never to tighten a screw with a automatic screwdriver because you can't feel how um, tight the plastic is that you're going into it with, which is true. Um, you can pull the screws out with an electric um, screwdriver. That's fine, but screwing in, eh, I wouldn't. Because you will end up splitting plastic or breaking it or, you know, who knows. There, if I can get it, there we go. There we go, now it's on there. Cool, so that's one. I need to do something to the top of this too, maybe just some, um, I wonder if the, Black Picatinny wheel that I have will go over the whole thing. I'll check. Um, let's do the other side now. All right. Get this guy out of the way. Drill the three over here. And the good thing about these is when you're drilling, you can hear it when it gets through this plastic versus this plastic. Because once you feel it, you know, go through this one, you can yank it out real quick so it doesn't go through that. Because once you go through that, that's, that could be an issue with the whole barrel and plunger system. And you, don't, you do not want to mess that up or else you're going to have to buy a whole new blaster. Whoop. Whoop. Hold on. Why? This is... Oh, I see. The bit was loose in the drill here. Ah, I think we're set. There we go, there's one. 
There's two. And three. Cool. Three more screws and we should be done. Sorry if my hand's shaking. <laughs> it's uh, the medication that I have to take. Ooh, where'd that go? I heard it. Did you guys hear it? Well, it didn't go in the blaster. This must be it. Um, the medication that I have to take for my uh, transplant, the side effect is shaking hands, sadly. <laughs> Shaking hands and um, I think a little bit of um, uh, sleep dep sleep depri sleep deprivation or um, insomnia. Not too much though. Like I'll be up till four in the morning or even five, and then I'll sleep for like three hours. <laughs> so yeah, in, in that sense, it's not good. Um, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'd rather lose a little bit of sleep for a functioning uh, kidney because trust me, dialysis is no fun. You do not want to do it if you don't have to. And luckily now that I don't have to, I have more time and more energy to do this kind of stuff for you guys. And this is a lot more fun because when you're strapped to the chair, you can't go anywhere, can't do anything except watch TV or sleep. <laughs> Alright. First one in, second one's going in now. There's the second one. And the last one. Oop. There we go. I'm holding it down with these three fingers just to make sure it stays straight and stays on. I think I got it. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, uh, this is all the stuff from uh, Palm Top Supply for the Nerf Conquest Pro. And I think it looks pretty snazzy. Um, God, it's more comfy. Oh my God. It's just, yeah. So we got to do something about up top because it looks a little plain compared to the rest. Um, if I find anything for the top, either just one tactical rail or something, um, I'll, I'll do another video real quick. Um, I'll, I'll link all of um, Palm Top's pieces down below. Um, I think I bought all four pieces separately and he just included them in a mission kit. So if he has a whole kit, I'll link that down below as well. Um, but if you guys have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I'll see you guys later.